Welcome to my channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. What is the sabotage provision of the Jones Act? The sabotage provision of the Jones Act specifies detailed regulation on how passengers and goods are moved to and from United States ports on board the vessels. The provisions help protect the quality and safety of waterways within U.S. waters. The objective of the professions of, uh, is to ensure that the U.S. shipping and cruise industry remain healthy. In, this, in addition, the sabotage provision foster improved domestic trade between different regions of the county. As to the result, this helps promote employment in these industries and increases job opportunities for local labor pools. In order to guarantee vessels and their crew meet the sabotage provisions of the Jones Act, there are specific regulations as follows. Each vessel should move passengers or food must be owned by a company based in the United States. And then, the company must have a minimum of 75% ownership by U.S. citizens. And then, the vessel must be registered in a United States port. The vessel must have been built or rebuilt at a United States shipyard within the country. The crew on board the vessel must consist of minimum of 75% crewmen who are U.S. Uh, US citizens. And then, the next discussion is about can the sabotage provision of the Jones Act be waived? Sabotage provisions of the Jones Act is designed to protect the U.S. shipping and cruise industries. The provision applies to all U.S. ports, including those in Hawaii, Alaska, Puerto Rico, and the U.S. Virgin Island. There are certain times when the provision can be waived for specific reasons. Waiving the provi provision is typically only used when there is a national uh, emergency or another valid reason for doing so. Recently, President Trump waived the sabotage provision after Hurricane Maria. Prior to that, the Secretary of the Department of Homeland Security initiated a seven-day waiver following the devastation caused by hurricanes Harvey and Irma. The waivers are utilized to help address fuel shortage and getting needed supplies to those in affected regions after a natural disaster. And then what is the Jones Act? The Jones Act is detailed in Section 27 of 1920 Merchant Marine Act. The Act covers numerous areas of maritime law. Most notably, it helps protect the safety of maritime workers and passengers on board U.S.-based vessels. The Act requires vessels owners to provide a safe working environment as well as ensure each worker has been properly trained to perform their assigned job. The other part of the Jones Act is the sabotage provision as previously discussed. Island compensation injured maritime workers could receive. The Jones Act allows injured maritime workers to file for benefits similar to workers' compensation for online workers. The Act allows workers to claim benefits for the medical care and treatment, as well as for maintenance and cure relief. The maintenance benefit provides weekly payments for those wages to cover normal and reasonable living expenses, such as room, board, and food. It does not cover living expenses like cable TV or high-speed internet. Payments are made regardless of fault or negligence for the injuries. Maintenance payment continue until the injured worker is declared by a medical professional and authorized to return to work. However, the employer only has to pay maintenance benefit in the amount that would allow you to live in the same manner as you live on board the vessels. As a result, most employers end up only paying between $15 US dollar and $13 US dollar per day. The cure benefit provides payment for sustainable medical care and treatment for any injuries. The cure payments in continue until the injured maritime worker is fully recovered and able to return to work. If maritime worker was injured due to the negligence of the employer and or vessel's owner, they may also file a lawsuit against the irresponsible party with help from a qualified Jones Act attorney. Additionally, one may be entitled to file a lawsuit if the vessels they were working on is considered unseaworthy and unsafe. And then the next is requirements for filing Jones Act claim. There can be different circumstances depending on the type of vessels, working conditions, and extent of injury sustained while on board. As such, please keep in mind that the requirements for filing Jones Act claim can do and do vary. In general, the injured workers uh, must have been in service of the vessels at the time of their injury. Furthermore, the vessel must be considered in navigable waters and in navigation at the time of the accident. When maritime workers have been injured, there are specific procedures they must follow to protect their rights to file for benefits under the Jones Act. As follows, report the accident and injury right away. If you wait to report the accident and injury, your employer may be believed you do not consider it serious enough to file a claim. 
Second, for medical care and treatment until you can be moved to land for further care or treatment. Refusing treatment is never a good idea. Even for minor injuries, it is better to seek treatment to protect your rights to file a claim. If possible, take a picture of the condition on board after the accident occurs. If you are not seriously injured and can take uh, pictures after the accident, it could help you claim and prove that your employer or the ship owner was negligent. If possible, write down your account or even which led up to the accident. If you are in a conscious state where you are able to think clearly following your injuries, take your time to write down everything you remember now. Recalling things later could be more difficult and your employer or professor or owner might even try to shift the blame from the accident to you. Contact Jones Act and Maritime Injury Attorney as soon as possible. You have the right to speak to your own maritime lawyer and seek legal advice following a maritime injury. Follow the legal advice given by your maritime lawyer. Your lawyer will advise you what to do next, how to prepare for an interview with employers or vessels or our insurance company, and other such details. And then the next discussion is about when is it time to sue under the Jones Act. The time to file a lawsuit will, again, vary based on the specific circumstances relating to the maritime accident and your injuries. If your employer or ship owner is trying to get out of maintenance and your benefit payments, you will want to take a legal action as soon as possible. If your employer or ship owner is paying maintenance and your benefits after filing your injury claim, you can uh, only sue them under the Jones Act if there were negligence in the same manner that contributed to your injuries. And the negligence could be deemed present for one or more of the following. And then, you were not properly trained for uh, the job you were assigned to do. You were working with other maritime workers who were not properly trained. You were working on tasks that was undermanned and which required more workers, yet your employer failed to provide them. The equipment you were told to use was not properly maintained or was not safe to use. The vessel is not considered seaworthy and is unsafe. You were not provided the proper safety and or personal protection equipment to do the required job. This is just a small sampling of different reasons your employer or vessel's owner could be considered negligence. To determine whether your employer or the ship owner could be considered negligence, it is highly recommended to speak to our experienced Jones Act attorney. I think that's all guys the information that I can share to you. Thank you so much for watching. And if you need information about maritime topics, you are in the right channel because in this channel, we talk about it a lot. And then don't forget to share this video to your friends, family, and your loved one. Maybe they need information about maritime topics. So when you share this video to them, it means you already helped them to get through their problems. I think that's all guys the information that I can share to you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give a like, comment, and subscribe. Bye! -bye.